Charles Augustin de Callum, the 14th of June 1736 to the 23rd of August 1806, was a French physicist. He was best known for developing Callum's law, the definition of the electrostatic force of attraction and repulsion. The C unit of electric charge, the Callum, was named after him. Life. Charles Augustin de Callum was born in Angoulême, the capital of Angoulême in France. His parents were Henry Callum and Catherine Badgett. He went to school in the Collège Mazarin in Paris where his father lived. His studies included philosophy, language, and literature. He also received a good education in mathematics, astronomy, chemistry, and botany. He was described by his professor as a smart and active young man. Callum graduated in November 1761 from École Royale du Gagné de Mazias. Over the next 20 years he was posted to a variety of locations, where he was involved in engineering, and structural, fortifications, soil mechanics, as well as other fields of engineering. His first posting was to Brest, but in February 1764 he was sent to Martinique, in the West Indies, where he was put in charge of building the new Fort Bourbon and his task occupied him until June 1772. On his return to France, Callum was sent to Bouchain. However, he now began to write important works on applied mechanics and he presented his first work to the Académie des Sciences in Paris in 1773. In 1779 Callum was sent to Rochefort to collaborate with the Marquis de Montalembert in constructing a fort made entirely from wood near Isle d'Aix. During his period at Rochefort, Callum carried on his research into mechanics, in particular using the shipyards in Rochefort as laboratories for his experiments. Upon his return to France, with the rank of captain, he was employed at La Rochelle, the Isle of Aix and Cherbourg. He discovered an inverse relationship of the force between electric charges and the square of its distance, later named after him as Callum's Law. In 1781, he was stationed at Paris. On the outbreak of the Revolution in 1789, he resigned his appointment as Intendant des Aux et Fontaines, and retired to a small estate which he possessed at Blois. He was recalled to Paris for a time, in order to take part in the new determination of weights and measures, which had been decreed by the revolutionary government. He became one of the first members of the French National Institute, and was appointed Inspector of Public Instruction in 1802. His health was already very feeble and four years later he died in Paris. Callum leaves a legacy as a pioneer in the field of geotechnical engineering for his contribution to retaining wall design. His name is one of the 72 names inscribed on the Eiffel Tower. Research. In 1784, his memoir Recherches Theoriques et Experimentales sur la force de torsion et sur l'élasticité des fils de metal, Theoretical Research and Experimentation on Torsion and the Elasticity of Metal Wire, appeared. This memoir contained the results of Callum's experiments on the torsional force for metal wires. His general result is the moment of the torque is, for wires of the same metal, proportional to the torsional angle, the fourth power of the diameter and the inverse of the length of the wire. In 1785, Callum presented his first three reports on electricity and magnetism. Premium A mot sur l'électricité et le magnétisme. In this publication, Callum describes how to construct and use an electric balance, torsion balance, based on the property of the metal wires of having a reaction torsion force proportional to the torsion angle. Callum also experimentally determined the law that explains how two bodies electrified of the same kind of electricity exert on each other. On page 574 he states, I'll race alt on de ses truisses, claction repulsive cledux balls electrifase de la mine nature de electricite exercent l'une sur l'autre, suit la race and inverse du care des distances. Translation, it follows therefore from these three tests, that the repulsive force, that the two balls, which were, electrified with the same kind of electricity, exert on each other, follows the inverse proportion of the square of the distance. Second main mot sur l'électricité et le magnétisme. In this publication, Callum carries out the determination according to which laws both the magnetic and the electric fluids act, either by repulsion or by attraction. On page 579, he states that the attractive force between two oppositely charged spheres is proportional to the product of the quantities of charge on the spheres, and is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the spheres. Droisium may mot sur l'électricité et le magnétisme. 
on the quantity of electricity that an isolated body loses in a certain time period, either by contact with less humid air, or in the supports more or less ideoelectric. Four subsequent reports were published in the following years. Quatrium may motto where two principal properties of the electric fluid are demonstrated. First, that this fluid does not expand into any object according to a chemical affinity, or by an elective attraction, but that it divides itself between different objects brought into contact. Second, that in conducting objects, the fluid, having achieved a state of stability, expands on the surface of the body, and does not penetrate into the interior. 1786. Cinquium may mire on the manner in which the electric fluid divides itself between conducting objects brought into contact and the distribution of this fluid on the different parts of the surface of this object, 1787. Sixium may mire continuation of research into the distribution of the electric fluid between several conductors. Determination of electric density at different points on the surface of these bodies, 1788. Septium may mire on magnetism, 1789. Cowlin explained the laws of attraction and repulsion between electric charges and magnetic poles, although he did not find any relationship between the two phenomena. He thought that the attraction and repulsion were due to different kinds of fluids. Charles D. Cowlin was the one who discovered Cowlin's law, he did this by measuring the twist in a wire, or torsion balance. 